guys and welcome back thanks so much for stopping by today we're going to do a little bit of a fun video we're actually going to compare and demo two lip plumpers that are on the market right now so basically the purpose of these little things is to give you a natural plump to your lip without the use of lip injections or surgery or anything like that obviously the effects of these lip plumpers are not nearly the effects you would get from a surgical procedure. They do have similar effects right away, but they fade relatively quickly, whereas obviously an injection is going to last you a lot longer. Um, with that said, these are kind of a lot of fun, and it's no secret that I, I like lip plumpers. I think they give you a little bit of a boost, they give you a little bit more lip surface area to work with when you are putting on your lipstick and stuff like that. So I actually use these all the time. <laughs> Um, but we're going to compare these two today, so let's jump into it. Okay, so initially I had started this review and I felt like I was totally all over the place, so I, instead of just babbling on about these, I decided to break it down into a couple different categories just to keep myself a little bit more organized and to give you guys the information in a more clear way. So, first things first, price. This one is the Fully Lips... This one is the... Fully Lips Lip Enhancer, and it's in the shape Small Oval. So you can purchase this for $19.99 on the Fully Lips website, and you will get a Medium Oval, which is this shape, but just a little bigger, for free. So $19.99 for this, plus a similar one with a little bit of a different shape for free. This one, on the other hand, this is the Candy Lips Lip Plumper. This is the Model B, size small to medium. This will run you $70, $69.99. Now, I bought this on sale for $49.99. Moment of silence for that, because that is, like, what was I thinking? I mean, we'll, we'll get into it, but, like, $50. And honestly, there are a lot of videos using this thing on social media, and it looks like it works pretty darn well. So I was like, hey, if this thing worked, maybe this thing will work better. So I got this years and years ago, and it kind of sat on my shelf for a while, and over the past, I would say, year, I've been using it a lot more. And I just got this about a week ago. So, and I've been using it pretty much every day for a week because I wanted to give you guys a really accurate review. So the next thing we're going to talk about is construction. So this is exactly what it looks like. It's a little plastic cup. It's got a rounded edge. So when I initially got this in the mail, I honestly expected it to be flimsy. Like I did not expect it to be hard plastic, um, but it is. It's hard plastic. Um, it's got the little fully lips engrave on there and it's got a rounded edge to make it a little bit more comfortable for your mouth. It's very small, very light, very portable, very durable. The Candy Lips has this big silicone area right here that's empty, and that's what you use to fill it with air to create the suction. This part here, this mouthpiece, is all hard plastic, and there is a divider. So there's your top lip goes on top, and your bottom goes on the bottom. It comes with a blocker. This is a little silicone blocker that you can put on the top or bottom so that you can get a little bit more of an isolated suction on rather your top or bottom lip. It also comes with this little silicone cover that you can put over top um, to make it a little bit more comfortable for your lips so that the hard plastic isn't so harsh. I tried to use this thing. I could not get it to work. I could not get it to position itself in a way that really made any sort of a difference. It was honestly more trouble than it was worth. So this thing is not very effective. Um, this also comes with a hard plastic screw-on cover. Why you would need that, I'm not really sure, but the whole this whole packaging is just extra, in my opinion. Like, what is this for? What is, am I paying? Is this what, like, the $60 is going to? This little freaking leaf? I don't need this. <laughs> um, I mean, this is like a silicone. It's a nice, it's got a nice, high-quality feel. I will give it that. Um, it just, again, like... I don't know, just it seems a little bit extra with all these gizmos and gadgets. But that is the construction in a nutshell. 
So on to the use and effectiveness, the most important part of this whole video. How do these things work? What do they feel like? So before we jump into that, we're going to demo it. So I'm going to demo each one for two minutes. Just so it's fair, normally I would do it for a lot longer than that. Again, because I have, well, actually. So I would normally on my day-to-day -day do it for a lot longer than two minutes because I have built up over months and months of time. I have built up a tolerance to these things so that if I do it for more than two minutes, I don't bruise. If you don't have a tolerance, you will bruise if you hold this on your lips for more than like one or two minutes. It has to be a slow and steady build so that you do not bruise and damage your lips. So just keep that in mind. It's very, very important. You have to have a lot of patience and just do a little tiny bit every day and let it build on its own. Don't push it because you will definitely um, run into some trouble with bruising and stuff like that. Hey, babe. Okay, so we're going to do this one for two minutes and I will be right back. So basically the way you do this is you place it on your lips and you create a suction with your mouth by sucking in air. So you suck in air, it gets trapped in here and it creates a suction. Mm-hmm. Um, we go to the gym soon. Mm-hmm. Do you love me? Mm-hmm. Want me to smooch? Okay, so this is what you are left with after two minutes. It looks real. So when you initially take it off, that's only two minutes, so I got a teeny tiny bit of plumping, nothing crazy or extreme, but um, just for the sake of time, I'm just doing two minutes for each one. So you can see there's some plumping throughout the middle. The longer you hold it on, the crazier your plump is gonna get. But initially when you take it off, it's like huge, and then within seconds, it really, really, really calms down to like a normal looking lip. So what I like to do is put it on the center and do it that way and then I like to also turn it on its side to get more of like a well-rounded plump effect. Um, all right, so now we're gonna try this one. For this one, I have tried this one a lot and we'll get to that, but basically I'm going to suck or I'm going to push this in, stick my lips in and then release it. And that's what's gonna create the sucking effect. Okay, so this is after about a minute and a half with this one. So, as you can see, it leaves a lot of marks right around here. Those fade pretty quickly, but I do usually put a little bit of concealer on there just to kind of um, conceal it, obviously. So, alright, now the final verdict. This one is by far my favorite out of these two. This one is so much better in so many ways. First of all, obviously it's a lot cheaper, but more important than that, it's so much more effective and comfortable to wear. So two minutes with this gives me a lot more plumping than two minutes with this. This one localizes on your lips, whereas this one basically suctions your whole mouth. So you're not getting a lot of suction in your lips in and of themselves, but it's just sucking your whole mouth out and it actually hurts, like it's actually painful. And I couldn't even, hold this on for two minutes without having to release the suction a little bit because it was too harsh and it starts to really, really hurt. This one does not hurt at all, especially if you build up to it over time. Um, and what I love about this one too is you can pop it on and I actually do my eye makeup while I have this on so you can kind of like multitask. Whereas this one is too heavy, I actually, it will stay on there for a few seconds but then I have to hold it up with my hand because it the heaviness of it will actually pull it down and off so you basically have to sit there like holding it and it's a waste of time I would rather use this and be able to do the rest of my makeup without um, having to hold on to it so aside from the fact that this one actually hurts to use I don't think the suction effect is very good at all 
again it just it basically sucks out your whole mouth so you're not getting that specific lip plumping effect that is the whole purpose of this thing um now the only thing i like better about this one than this one is this little blocker and the fact that you can isolate the lip that you want to plump so Hey guys, sorry my camera had just died and it takes a really long time to charge, but that's pretty much the end of the review. This is a pretty accurate picture to what my lips would look like with a couple more minutes of plumping. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Enjoy the cute pictures.